Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I make scrapbooking process videos, and also do live scrap and chats every month. I hope you enjoy my little corner of the big crafty world, and if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to always know when I have a new video. If you could also give me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Alright everyone, let's start scrapping! Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a layout in honor of Pride Month. Uh, my nephew is part of that community, and this these photos are actually taken a while back. A friend of his does stock photography, and he asked my nephew and a friend of theirs um, if they would mind posing for some Pride-themed stock photography. So that's why these photos are very good as compared to what I normally take, which is not normally very good. So what I thought I would do is some sort of rainbow layout. So I've pulled a couple of different rainbow backgrounds. I'm not 100% sure which one I'm gonna go with. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of multiple colored embellishments. And then I pulled out like all of my embellishments because I, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go with this. Um, how much I'm going to embellish basically is what I'm not 100% of. Yeah, 100% of that's correct. Uh, so these are all Paige Evans pages, but they're all from different lines. This one is from Horizon. This one is from Turn the Page. This, and then these last two are from Whimsical. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure which one I'm gonna go with. So we shall see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys put on fast forward before I do. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. And all right, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is choose a background piece. So I also have this scrap of navy polka dotted paper and that is from a Dear Lizzie paper pad. It's super old. I think it's documentary, something along those lines. I don't remember. So I go through all four papers and even though I liked the polka dot one, I knew trying to do what I was planning on, which was where you put the same color embellishments in the area where that color is on the background page of the rainbow would be much harder with the polka dots. And I wanted to use this scrap of polka dot of paper and I didn't think the polka dots on polka dots would necessarily work. So two folded, I decided to go with this particular piece. I thought the more muted colors went better with the photos and not um, fighting with the photos because there's so much color in the photos. Um, this particular paper didn't have orange. So because orange is so prevalent in it, I thought this worked well more than the ones that were the, the other sunbursts that had more pattern to it. And then the stripe paper that was either a vertical or horizontal stripe, depending on which way I turned the paper. I decided what I really wanted to start off first was a heavy dose of misting with the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. So all I did was I flipped my photos with the paper over and then just laid it down. So that way I wouldn't have most of them covered up. So I did jump ahead with some drying time. Um, if I am off the camera for a while, like I'm, I go to do something or I'm waiting for something to dry, I just chop that time period off because it's, you know, why would you want to stare at my layout, uncompleted layout for a few seconds when I can just trim that part out. So I went ahead and used my T-square ruler to get that lined up because my eyes were like, these lines are not straight. I cannot possibly do this. And now all I'm doing is taking the items I had already pre-pulled and matching them up. Now, not every single one matches exactly, and I'm totally okay with that. And then there are a couple, because they happen to come from that line, that match up so well that it's hard to see it. When I go to place this navy purpley flower, I put it right on, I'm like, oh, you can't even see that there's a flower there. So I kind of zhuzhed it off to the side and then I'm going to add to it so you'll be able to see. So I've got some paper airplanes, some butterflies, some word and phrase things, a dragonfly, all sorts of different things. I was going more for color matching versus like some sort of theme. Um, so that sticker, beautiful, and this is from a Dear, Dear Lizzie line that I cannot remember uh, what it's actually called, 
but I pulled a couple of stickers from there as well. One thing I will mention is for some reason, the stickers are not sticking from this line. So uh, if you're using older product, you may have to reinforce the stickers. Now I really loved that Be Bright chipboard sticker, but it was just too big, unfortunately. So instead I grabbed that yellow label sticker and that's actually where my journaling will live. And then I pull out these LA Studio chipboard pieces and I add those as well. So I've also added a flare I made. A friend of mine had a flare making machine. And so when the first line that Paige Evans ever did came out, oh, <laughs> for those of you who watched my live, I used Echo Park's Salutations Number no. 1 uh, kit from my little scrapbook store. And I had misplaced the ephemera that came with it. And apparently I put it away with my enamel dots and other pieces and didn't realize it, which I thought, I, I assumed I'd put it away with something, um, but finally found it. I was so excited. I was like, yay, I didn't like completely throw it away. So I'm going through everything, all the chipboard pieces from Freckled Fawn. Uh, I've mentioned several times that I bought a bunch of their stuff on a Black Friday sale. So I'm trying to go through and use it. So I pull out that green arrow, the teal high circle, as well as, I think I'm going to choose one more thing, but maybe not. Um, I thought I had enough words on here already. I didn't need to add more words. So my I thinking was that I would just go through and pull out anything that might work. So you'll know I've kept all of the enamel dots. So before I do anything with the enamel dots, I'm going to go at round in a circle <laughs> or in a 12 by 12 square and glue down all of my papers. Now the things I had already picked that were on wax paper, I needed to reinforce simply because once you stick something to wax paper, it does lose a lot of its stick. But as I mentioned with some of these older stickers, I did have to add more anyway. So I'm going around getting everything done. I'm using Art Glitter Clear Glue. So you'll see in some of the places the glue has seeped out. This glue dries incredibly clear and also matte. So you don't have to worry if you glue something down and a little bit of the glue squidges out because it is completely unnoticeable once it is dry. And you can check that out if you want to in the photos at the end um, because I always have, well, I almost always have close-ups of all the areas or uh, at least a still shot of the layout at the end. Sometimes I forget, I will not lie. <laughs> so the last piece is that hexagonal wood veneer. And now I'm going to speed up the video even faster because what I'm going to do is add two enamel dots of a similar color to the wedge of color except in three areas, I'm going to add three dots instead of two to create some sort of visual triangle. I have no idea if it's even noticeable, but the idea here was to try to use up quite a few enamel dots, but it does take quite a bit of time. So I did speed this up to faster than I would normally do on a video where I could actually like describe what I'm doing. So you can see <laughs> I haven't even finished and you'll see some of them I don't have anything that is going to match those kind of beigey rose ones I don't have anything that's a beigey rose um and I'm trying to use a different color with each wedge uh even if it's the same color like the two pinks the two corals I'm trying to use a different color of enamel dot um than I used on the other side. You know, they're going to be very similar colors, but and then I notice I have, oh look, I have two of the exact same. That's okay, I love enamel dots and I'll take multiples. Now, you may notice some of my enamel dots are redone onto index cards by color and some of them are not. I went through and put all of my enamel dots by color and then I bought a whole bunch of new enamel dots and all of my stuff, not all of my stuff, but the majority of my stuff is already packed up. So I didn't feel like wanting to do that currently. When I finally move, which hopefully should be soon, um, I will go ahead and 
put all of the rest of my enamel dots in color order. I find I use them more that way than in the color family. And the only things I won't be able to do are those freckled fawn ones that are right there <laughs> because that would be impossible to try to redo those. And I don't like to do them where I take them off the paper and stick them on and uh, take them off the acetate and put them on another piece of acetate. I find they don't stick as good. All right, enough about enamel dots. Let's move on to the title. I choose these mini thickers. I feel I've got enough going on. I don't need a huge title. I choose the pale pink and then the multicolor one. And so my title is going to be Pride Pose. And once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do my journaling after I finish this. I had also pulled out those Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park white holographic and light blue glitter, but I didn't end up using them. I just wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the whole title in that mini thicker font. But that is going to complete my layout today. I'm just kind of taking a look, seeing if I need to add anything else, but I do not. So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, just drop in the description box below. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks for watching. Bye!